All right, so we're a bit late today. Um, actually, we're really late. So we're going to an island. Now, it's already 12.30 p.m., so this sucks. But I did have to go to a cafe to up my, upload my YouTube video, but I ate some amazing food at Calf Revel. Check this food out. Now, I think that's personally the best cafe in all of Hong Kong. This ain't a sponsor or anything, I'm just saying. So if you guys want to go to an amazing cafe, Cafe Revel, in uh, Jordan, best cafe, seriously, and great internet. Anyways, so yeah, we're going to an island called Chi, uh, Chiang Cha. I'm not sure if that's how you say it, but I could be really close. So pretty much there's a pirate cave there that some guy from the 18th century once had a command of 600 ships and 50,000 men. So pretty much the cafe is like, um, <laughs> so, so pretty much the uh, cave is like his stash where you hide his treasure and stuff. So that's really cool. We're gonna go check that out and also explore the island for the whole day. Got my drone ready, I got everything ready. My butt hurts because I've been riding on that bike all day yesterday. We're like seven miles from Plover Cove, all the way back down to I think like Taipo. Yeah, I'm trying to get, everything happened so quick. I'm on caffeine right now, I'm awake, and yeah, I'm ready to go. Let's go meet up with my boy Henry. It's pretty funny because we have to take the Star Ferry to the island, to well, Central Port, and then we gotta take another ferry, which is gonna bring us to the island. All right, let me say that again. <laughs> It's funny because we have to take the Star Ferry to the island line, which is at the Central Port, and then we have to take the Central Port Ferry, which then takes us to the island. So we're taking a ferry to go onto another ferry. It's pretty interesting. It's almost like taking the MTR train to go onto another train. The first. <laughs> right now. Let's see if he notices me. Alright, I'm gonna hide. He doesn't see me yet. He doesn't see me. He doesn't see me. <laughs> hey. Yeah, what's Bring up, man? Snacks. Oh, dude, potato chips. Yeah. That's what we need to stay healthy. Yeah, we're not sponsored by them, okay? Yeah, we're not. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. So it's so weird because we really do take a ferry here, just across the island, to take another ferry. I never took like the, the piers before. This is my first time going to an island. I've been in Hong Kong for like almost, maybe even like 20 days now. So first time actually hopping onto the different islands. Yo, I literally have never seen a fishing pole that big. I'm not, I'm not even kidding. I swear to God, you can catch like a shark with this thing. All right, pier five. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so we're right. Both should be arriving soon. It was only 20 Hong Kong dollars, so like pretty much $3 for like a 45 minute ride to this island, which is so freaking cheap here. I love the traveling systems and how everything's super cheap. But one thing that could be a downside, actually it's not really a downside, it's just I did no research coming here. I don't even know if there's anything else on this island. I know absolutely nothing about it, except we are going pirate cave hunting. Yeah. Yeah. Just landed here, there is so much people here, but apparently I gotta take a right, go 20 miles down. Oh, no, not 20. So I just landed here, there's so many people here, but I gotta take this right, go all the way down for 20 minutes, go inside this temple, and then go up the top of the temple. And apparently that's where the cave is. I don't know, I'm just going up some directions I read, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Yes, egg tarts and egg puffs. We're gonna get in this. One thing for sure is you're definitely not gonna starve here. There's little shops everywhere. The only thing that could possibly happen is all the people eat all the food on the island. Then we're gonna start. Now, can I get one of those? Henry, what does it feel like to hold it? It's hot. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Fuck it. Ah. Is it really hot? Not that hot. Oh my god. Oh man, that is life. 
Dude, it's donut lollipops. I can't do it. I'm on a diet for real this time. We don't even know where we're going, but we're trying to go there. This is a very good sign. We found the temple. Now we just gotta go straight up here and yeah, search for a cave. Yeah, see, we're cave hunters now. That's what we do. Steve hunts a different kind of cave. <laughs> Woo. So we can go to a cave that way, but there's a temple. I said we just go check the temple out first because we're here. The flags bring it out. I really like the colors here. And like I said, you got a great view. Dude, I love smelling the incense every time I go to these temples. I'm just like sniffing it. <laughs> yeah, they go hard in here. We're finally on the journey to find the cave. Think about it, we came all the way to this island to just find this one cave. We don't, it could be like the crappiest cave ever. We might just walk in and that's it. Or it might go far down, we don't know. But it gave us something to do and kept us out of the house. <sighs> but the view's nice too though. This is it. I mean, would I rather be sitting in my house doing nothing or out exploring the world? I think this is a good time to tell you all that I'm actually going to Chernobyl back in Ukraine. Yes, I'm going back to Chernobyl. I'm creating a series, Chernobyl series 2.0. Seriously though, March 14th to the 17th. And apparently, apparently I'm going inside the control room of Chernobyl where like the reactors and everything in a hazmat suit. I, I don't know what to expect, but super excited to do it. I'm just not looking forward to the cold, but it's what you gotta do to get the shots. It's a true adventure. Uh, this path probably leads it down now. I hope so, man. Yeah, we should go. walk down this way and we get over there. That's what you think? Yeah. You're just assuming though. Oh yes. Cause look at, you think that we're gonna go down here and just somehow the path is just gonna go all the way over there? I don't know, man. I mean, you I know, hope you, so. You know what happens when you assume, right? What happens, if it comes true? No, you got fuck ups. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, like I, I said, yo, yesterday was so much work that I am so just tired today. I'm zoned out, but I'm still vlogging. So if my energy ain't there, or my greatness, if I have any greatness, it's because of that reason. Yo, we're getting distracted right now. This looks so nice though. So I'm sure we'll find a way. Dude, you know what? Dude, I know what we could do. We can just cut across here and risk our lives to get to the other side. And then we could go over there after. Are you up? Oh, oh, machine gun. All right, so we're here now, legit. Well, the sign's here. I'm actually glad I came out today. This is actually cooler than I thought. Look at this. It's like we're in the game Mist, the first level of Mist. Yep. Right? <laughs> That's and funny. At the end, the guy gets pissed. You don't give him the page. Yeah, yeah, dude, they're gonna spoil the game ending for everyone. So obviously, this is this is the wait to get in. But I hear it's like really small, so like you get freaky. Yeah. All right. I mean, this is it. Yeah, this is it. Ooh. Oh man, that's ridiculously can small. Can you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could do it. <laughs> he doesn't know who we are. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. I mean, I could have had better shoes though, but. <laughs> We're gonna die in a hole, man. Just a moment. All right, the only thing I'm freaked out about is spiders. I was just getting there. Spiders! Spiders? Spider. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm putting on my light. Come on, light. Okay. Oh, man. Oh. Whoa, dude, this is actually really... St this goes down. Yeah. This is a lot more small than I thought. I'm good, man. Thanks. Oh, there's even a ladder. Yeah, there's a ladder. I'll be okay. It's all about being safe here. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is really cool, man. Whoa. You got this. 
We got lights and gear ready. I mean, I have flashlights in my bag if I really need to use it. You think I come unprepared, explorers? That's not how we do. Well, this is actually really cool. Yeah, this is nice. I think we're on like maybe like the beach now. A lot of sand over here. Oh my god. <laughs> the smallest case I've I ever been in was that one where we saved a little girl. That was like the, the most craziest one. We had a crawl, remember that? Where you at, bro? Here. <laughs> my bag don't Can fit. Oh, I'm good, man. I'm gonna have to crawl on my knees. <laughs> I'm on my knees, legit. <laughs> it's not gonna be claustrophobic, I'll tell you that. No, it's true, dude. Oh my god. Look at this. No way I can fit through here. You might have to take your bag off. I would have to literally, yeah, I gotta take my bag yeah, off. Go sideways. Dude, yeah, I gotta go sideways and take the bag off. Okay. Oh. Hey, man. Hi, oh. all. <laughs> the light. It burns. You can fit, man. Dude, this is really fun. Yeah, no, it is. It's cool. It beats being in the office. Yeah. Bunking school kind of day, you know? Yeah. Okay. So that's the other side. It was really that it, but that was really fun. But now, we can go here. This is where it gets crazy and risky. Oh yeah, we, this is doable. Yeah, you gotta come over here though, to see. What we'll do is we'll just, yeah, you get it, you get it. Yeah? Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Take my hand. <laughs> we can. Okay. Just gotta use your body fat. I'm almost there. Just gotta move my camera. Okay. Okay, we're good. I made it. Is there anything over there? Yeah, the path brings us to uh the other side. So there's actually a path there. Yeah, there's a path here. There you go. Mind over matter. My okay, we made it. Ended up coming out of there, coming back and met up at a secret staircase. I'm just kidding, but it brought us to a staircase that brings us straight down, which is perfect. Look at this. This is awesome. Woohoo! Almost towards the goal. Yeah, this is a legit hike. We gotta scale the wall, hop on that rock, and then that's how we actually get there. We've been on a crazy adventure and the day has just started. Okay. Let's do it. Get it, bro. Somehow I don't trust this fence. You don't trust it? No. I trust these bars on the fence. Dude, I trust it. I'm one-handing it. I trust it. Yeah. What up? <laughs> yeah, wave to your fans. Gotta... Okay. Yes. A shattered dream. It's like a far-off memory. Pirates used to be here. <laughs> you that? That's what they say. Yeah, supposedly. 
When I was coming here, I was just like, yeah, let's just go the other side after the cave. I had no idea you have to go through this whole obstacle course to get there. Henry Harris birds. <laughs> it's a cat in me. Capture it. Secret beach. You can probably really swim out today. It's really nice. We're heading back deep right now, but we're taking pretty much the long way back so we can see most of the island. I took two shots I want to show you for the Instagrams. Like I said, check out the Instagrams, exploring with Josh to check it out. And here's the two pictures I just took. Yo, they are having like a family barbecue out here. Look at this dog. <laughs> As you can tell, we're back in the main uh, center, but we're pretty much done here. Like I checked everything else that's interesting in the island and it's really not that like amazing. So I got some fruit for like three bucks and probably gonna head back and go eat some proper food back in Hong Kong city. What are you filming? There's a cat. Get him, Henry. Show him who you are. Make him famous. Make him good. Well, he looks... Yes. Yes. Get it. You gotta crawl up to him. Yes. He doesn't even... He's not scared. That's a cinematic. Oh, disrespecting you, man. Oh! Here's the picture we got of our new cat model. I'm starting the crash, Explorers. I'm super tired. Yesterday just seriously has drained me out, and today I woke up early. Man, but at least we got done today's video. I'm probably gonna just end it when I get back really soon. Super tired explorers. We actually ended up going to a place called Australian Dairy. It's um, a pretty much an all day breakfast restaurant, right? Well, it was so freaking good. And it was just simple like stuff that I eat anywhere else. But the, the way they make their eggs and, and the spices and, and their soup and stuff, and it's so freaking good. I'm gonna go there again tomorrow and I'm gonna vlog it because I have to show you all this. Like, I know I, I show you all the adventures and some of the great things to do in Hong Kong, but I'm really lacking on like the best foods. Um, but I did go over some street food, but that's something I'm gonna do. Anyways, besides that, I'm ending it off here with like a, like, I guess something sort of personal, but just more of a tip too. I don't really know. Um, last night, um, actually every night I hang out with this guy. Um, actually, so every night I hang out with my friends from HK Urbex, like after I'm done vlogging or maybe before it, before I'm ending my video or whatever. I don't film it, I just hang out with them as a group and we're having so much fun and we're just simply just hanging out, like going out to eat and just walking around and talking. Well, um, one, of my, one, one of the people from HK Airbex is like, hey man, I really like like doing this. Every night we're all hanging out and it's, it's like really fun. It's like a, a regular routine now, I, I really like it. And I go, dude, honestly, after doing the, you know, the, the craziest hike, having the most fun, seeing the coolest stuff and, and doing the top, you know, so-and-so sunsets and and this and that, and living the luxury life, this is what it comes down to that I love doing more than any of that. Don't get me wrong, explorers, like, I'm gonna, I, I love to travel and do the craziest things, and like, I need it, you know, it's, it's what makes me me. But having that, that balance, that, that perfectness where I can just sit back and now relax with friends and not have to do any of that is what's keeping me like, in, like, sane and, and, and like, balanced out to be like who I am. So, like, when I don't have that, maybe then I'll feel like something's missing. And it's just that, that bonding time with, with friends is what is what I need. So like, yeah, I'm always with friends. What are you talking about, right? Well, it's different when you're actually just sitting back and relaxing, just even drinking a beer with your friend and talking about life and stuff. That's like perfect. That's like what I think everyone needs is like, so we don't feel lonely or anything like that, you know? Um, you gotta, you know, cause you know, it's like a balance. You need your balance, right? Everyone needs their own needs and stuff. Well, for me, it's like, all right, so when I go home, right? After 
a whole month of filming nonstop. I always just hang out with my friends and we just go to simply like Walmart and grab stuff and just sit in my house and play video games. Well, to me, I have so much fun doing that. Sometimes more fun than even hiking the most beautifulest mountain in Japan. It's because, I don't know, it's just, it's a special, it's special to me. It's like weird, but it like, I love it. I love it so much. And like everyone does it all the time, right? And like eventually, yeah, it does get boring, but you need that balance of that boring chill time and the crazy fun. If you're always having that crazy amount of fun, eventually you're going to need that. So you got to find the balance for both. And no one will ever understand it until they literally live like a rock star, you know, every day. And then you'll know what I'm talking about. It's really hard to explain, but it's just something I think, you know, you, you'll get. You'll get it. So, yeah, Explorers, I'm going to end today's video here. Thanks for watching. Definitely get out there and explore. Check out the merch. And peace out.